Okay, so um, looking at my t-shirt, it doesn't really go with the colour of my lips today. They're both red, but this is tomato red, and this is kind of like blood red. Oops. Oh well. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do my January 2014 book haul. Um, it's going to be a big one because for some reason I have a hell of a lot of books. I don't know why. And also... There's going to be something new. I am going to do a, I, um, an unboxing. I have this bad boy and um, this one. And um, I'm not really 100% sure what's in these because I've forgotten what I ordered. Um, this is from Amazon, both of them are. And oh yeah. But first of all, I want to start off by showing you the books that I got from publishers. I got quite a few this month, well it was last month, so I'm going to go through these quickly, thank them and also with the rest of the books I'm just going to say their names, I haven't got time to um, say what they're all about because, well, I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long, I'm sorry, sorry, <laughs> I know how much you love me but I don't want to talk for 20 minutes straight, I'm sorry. The first one is um, Red by Alison Cherry. This is from Quirkus, I think it's Quirkus Books. They sent me this for review. It was released the 2nd of January this year. Um, so I am really looking forward to this. I think this is, may have been on my waiting on Wednesday, um, post one week, I'm not entirely sure. It looks really good though, so thank you to Quirkus for that one. From Hodder, they sent me Darkest Fear by Kate Tiernan. Tiernan? I think that's how you say her name. Kate Tiernan is the author of the Immortal Beloved series and she's also author, author of the Wicker series or the um, Sweet series in America I think it's called. I've not read anything by her although I own one, maybe two books now. This looks really really good. It's a new book in a trilogy and I'm trying to... Ooh. It just says her animal instincts are a legacy and could be her downfall. Um, so thank you to Hodder for this one. I'm really looking forward to starting this. It looks really fantastic. That's a gorgeous cover. And then I got sent three books from Bloomsbury. And the first one is A Breath of Frost by Alexandra Harvey. I think Alexandra Harvey is the author of Haunting Violet, but I've yet to read that as well. Uh, this is a historical book, I think. Historical fiction, I think. And this is the first book in another series. I'm not sure if it's a trilogy or a series, it's called the Love Grove, Le Love Grove Legacy series and I think it looks really really good and this cover is absolutely beautiful. And they also sent me two books I am very very happy about. The first one is Fracture and the second Vengeance by Megan Miranda. It actually makes a face. How gorgeous is this? Fracture came out a few years ago but they redesigned the cover and now they sent me a matching cover to match the sequel which is Vengeance and I'm very excited to see what happens next in this series but they look fantastic and I love these new covers they're so gorgeous. Now on to the unboxing part. I have this, it has a tab. I've never done an unboxing before so let me know if you like them because I always get packages in the post. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all used books because I am cheap and can't afford to buy <laughs> new books I'm afraid. Oh, the first one is Stealing Parker by Miranda Kennelly. Kennelly? I've heard some great things about this series. I think it's a companion series um, of like just romance and things like that. I've just heard some great things about it. I'm excited to try it actually. Um, there are four books out so far. Oh, and it's an American paperback, so I'll be. And the other book that I have in here is, I'm so excited for this, More Than This by Patrick Ness. Oh, I have such excitement for this. Look, it has a little door and you open it. Oh, it's got a bit of rip there. That's a shame, but it has a little door. Oh, it's so cool. It has this matte feeling to it. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Patrick Ness's writing. It's really amazing. Now on to the big box. Oh, my scissors. Scissors. Oh, Christ. Uh, I don't want to cut the books inside.
Ooh. See, and we have a piece of paper. That can go away. Ooh, lots of books. Bad person, I'm bad person. I've bought too many books. Too many, too many. Let's get started, shall we? Put it down. Ooh, I haven't got the room. The first book is Rules of Summer by Joanna Philbin? Philbin? I'm really not sure if that's how you announce it. It's got some ink on the front, but it's in really good condition. Ah, oh, look at this cover though. If you ignore the ink spots, I'll wipe those off. So pretty. Um, Dark Storm by Sarah, Sarah Singlington? Singlington? Also got an awesome cover. Oh, I'm excited for this one. The Testing by Joelle Charbonneau. Hmm. Oh, it's got quite, it's got a dent in it. And it's been bent there. It looks good. And this is the UK paperback cover, which is quite cool. It's really shiny. Um, oh, Going Vintage by Liz Lindsay Leavitt. Leavitt. I'm not sure if that's how I pronounce it. I love the UK cover. It's so pretty. Lovely Dark and Deep by Amy McNamara. Namara? I love this cover too. It's gorgeous. Unbreakable by Cami Garcia. Cami Garcia is the author of the, um, what's it called? The Beautiful Creature um, series. She's the co-author. So, yeah, I think this UK cover's cool. I prefer the US hardback, but this was something like £2.80, and I just couldn't resist it. Then I have, oh, My Heart for Yours by Stephanie Campbell and Joelle Perry. Interesting cover, look. And finally, for this unboxing, I have Rise by Anna Curry, the third and final book in the Eve trilogy. Very excited to have this. I don't know. Looks like they've miscut the paper. Oh well, it's in great condition. Oh, I've uh, read the first book, I loved it, it was really good. And now I have the second one and the third. Now this is the third, and they can sit happily all together, which I think is really nice. Okay, moving on to the books that I um, bought that I've um, not unboxing. First one is um, Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Um, I've been waiting and waiting for a cover change for this book for ages because I loved it. I have the second and the third in this series and they've got nice covers, the UK versions, and suddenly they've re-released this in this cover and it's lovely. The Kissing Booth by Beth Reckles? 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 Faultless by S.C. Stevens, um, new adult romance. And at first, when I first saw this cover, I thought it was a man's chest, but no, it's a woman's neck. That's weird, but it's quite cool. Um, the Edge of Never by J.A. Redemsky? Redemsky? Bitten by Kelly Armstrong. I think this is an adult um, werewolf book. Uh, Soulmates by Holly Bourne. This one I definitely know it was on my Waiting on Wednesday post one week. Soulmates do exist, but not as you think. Every so often two people are born who are the perfect match for one another, soulmates. But what if, what if meeting your soulmate is earth shattering, literally. Dead Jealous by Last summer in a boating accident, Poppy Sinclair survived a brush with death, but the girl she finds face down a lake wasn't so lucky. <gasps> Murder mysteries, I love them. And then I have the second and third book in the Walls of Mercy Falls trilogy, uh, Linga and Forever. Looking forward to reading these. Misfit by um, John Scrovon. Scrovon. Really, really cool cover. US paperback. Cruel Summer by James Dawson. We'll get there eventually, I promise. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. I think it's a murder mystery. Flawless by Sarah Shepard. The second book in the Pretty Little Liars series. And the last paperback is Awakened by Katie Kavinsky. Kakvinsky. Dystopian book. And I'm looking forward to it. It's got a cool cover. Moving on to the hardbacks, Fury by Elizabeth Miles. Um, this is the first book in the Fury trilogy. I already own this book in an ugly cover and I own the second one and I just wanted to match because it was one of my favourite books and when I got it, you'll never believe, it's signed by the author Elizabeth, My Elizabeth Miles. So excited for that. <sighs> and Betrayal by Gillian Shields. This is the second book in the Immortal series? I'm not sure. I have the first one, haven't read it, but I thought I'd pick up the second one when it was like £1.50 and it's in hardback and they look very nice on my shelf. Vortex by Julie Cross, the second book in the Vortex trilogy. 
No, I've not read the first book, but I own it. It's down here somewhere. What Happens Next by Colleen Clayton. Uh, contemporary romance. Looking forward to starting this one as well. Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, the sixth and final book in the Vampire Academy series. I now have the entire series and I'm very excited to continue reading. And finally, I can take a breath because there is so much going on. And the final one is Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This is the first book in the Bloodlines series, which is a spin-off series from the Vampire Academy series. Looking forward to starting it, but yes, Christ alive. That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even want to know how many books there were. Maybe I'll put a number on the screen. <sighs> that was a lot of books. And I still have more, but they're gonna be for my February haul because this one's just too big. And by the way, I have to stop buying books. I have a bad problem. I have a bad problem. Bad Tiffy. Bad, bad, bad. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I have another video for you soon. Happy reading. Bye.